Y'all, this analyzing your Venus for your soulmate goes so much deeper than just the basics of when your seventh house ruling planet is going to transit over your Venus. We can also look at something called your Venus return chart. Similar to a solar return chart and like your Saturn return, the Venus return chart gives you the snapshot of when the current Venus returns to your natal Venus sign. But unlike your solar return, it's not always going to be near your birthday. And this can tell you a lot about the influences of Venus, your relationships, your love, your money over the next year until you have your next Venus return. Those of us, like I've shared in other videos, with early degree Gemini Venuses, it's looking real good this year. <laughs> if you're single and you're like wanting to meet someone. On top of looking at your Venus return chart, you can also look at your progress chart. My progressed Venus has been in Cancer for a few years and I always meet people around the time that things are moving through Cancer. So like June, July. Another thing you can look at in the progress chart, which by the way, if you're new to secondary progressions in astrology and calculating your progress chart, I have a whole class that walks you through how to calculate it, how to read it in my membership community. But a big indicator as well can be when your sun transits over, your progressed sun transits over your natal Venus, if that applies. Or vice versa, your progressed Venus transit over your natal sun. Depends on your chart. Again, everyone's chart is super unique. This is why it is my mission to teach astrology so that y'all really truly understand how to use this tool in your life and grow and evolve and manifest in all the ways that you want to. Have you ever looked up your Venus return chart or your progress chart? Let's share our stories in the comments because I love reading these.